first graders, this is Miss Croot. This video is an example of how to do the My Cousin Momo drawing. Um, you've already listened to the book and there's a handout that you can look at, but if you'd rather watch the video, that works too. So the first step is to find a circle to trace up near the top for the head. If you want to freehand the circle, that's fine as well. That's what I'm going to do. So you want to draw it pretty big. There we go. Once you have the head, you're going to draw two curved lines at the top for the ears with two smaller curves on the inside for the inner ear. From there, you need to do the eyes, which are large circles. He was a flying circle with big old eyes. There we go. Then we're going to make a curved line here and here, and then color the larger part black. You can draw in marker like I'm doing or in pencil if you want to be able to erase if you make a mistake. That's up to you. There you go. When his eyes are finished, let's draw his nose. We're going to use an upside down triangle for his nose. And then we're going to do for the mouth, it's like two J's, one forward and one backwards. We go and curve to the left, curve to the right, put some whiskers on there. There we go. Now the next step, we need to add the body to our cousin Momo. We're going to go off the page for that. So there's one part of his shoulder. Curve and go the other way off the page for the other part of his body. That's the shoulder as well. Big curve for the arm, like he's waving. You can leave that as it is, or you can add the paw print to it, which is one bigger circle and three small ones. Now, um, since he's a flying squirrel, he has fur. So we're going to add some little straight lines for a fur texture. If you'd rather use a brown for that, you may. That's up to you. Don't draw on top of the eyes or the nose with your fur lines, just in the empty space around them. And then leave the shirt plain. Okay? The final step would be to add the camera, and then if you want the little sweatbands on the head and the arm, you can. I'm going to draw the camera to do an example for you. Two lines for the straps. rectangle for our camera, horizontal line, I'm going to do a circle, some of the buttons on the camera, and then you can add some here as well. Okay, put a button on the top. The sweatbands you can cut out of another piece of paper if you want, or you can just draw them on with marker or crayon. All right, so those are the simple steps, and then you add details to make it your own, okay? All right, practice your shapes. Have fun.